we're doing now is we're just cutting that two inch pipe leading into the pump because we have a lot of uh, back pressure coming in from the field. So instead of breaking the line out here, which will then flood our septic tank area, you want to make sure that you cut it in here so that the uh, drain back goes into our septic tank and not into our septic tank area or our new tank. So in this particular situation, we have a two inch uh, force main leading out of the septic tank. So that uh, shorter pipe leads into the septic tank. It's only two inches and it hooks up to the uh, pump station and it drives everything up towards the, the field area, way up over there where we're gonna hit uh, a little bit later. So we just install the septic tank right now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna dislodge that pipe, uh, adapt that to a four inch size hole and then insert it into our septic tank by drilling out a four inch hole on our side there and then making sure that it's uh, watertight. So that's our next step. So now that the uh, drain back is stopped, we severed the connection to the pump. And so now we're just going to lift this uh, force main up a little higher so that we can then drain everything that's still inside here because this is going up into the tank here. So we have to remove this mortar, lift this section up so we can fully drain this crack on the bottom of this tube as well. So now that we uh, cut the section of pipe off of the septic tank, we severed that pipe after we drained the line fully. Okay, so now what we did was we put the four inch and we tied it in, plumbed it into the uh, pump chamber here. So we just uh, cemented everything in to make sure everything is nice and secure and that it's watertight. So we'll double check that uh, 
how things are flowing a little bit later. So from the position we were just located from the septic tanks down below, we've got the steep grade that the uh, water has to travel through the force main. And so what we've done is we begun to uh, dig the uh, trenches out here to put uh, the infiltrators. And we're gonna have um, all the laterals running inside the infiltrators here. So there's our laterals that are gonna be drilling out, uh, orifice spacing 3 16 so everything in the field is going to get pressurized all at the same time. So on our lateral sections, we're doing a 3 16 uh, sized hole. Oh, so we have a certain, certain guideline that we use per design for this particular case. So in this particular case, it's about every 90 centimeters or so. So we've got the 3 16 hole running all the way down the laterals. As we're going down the line, we're just inserting the infiltrators. And because these are relatively fine soils, we gotta make sure that we scarify the bottom of the trench there, just so that um, when the water displaces, it's not just sitting on the uh, glazed area that we did with the excavator. So that's one trench almost done. We left it open. We're gonna be putting uh, some testing ports at the end there. Uh, it's got 3 16 holes, so when we do our square testing, then we're able to gauge how tall our square test will be. So now, we're just working on our trenching, slowly making progress. So we're just uh, finishing up our trenches here, putting the one, one and a quarter inch uh, laterals inside the um, infiltrator system. So as you see, they go right to the top. And what's going to happen when the orifice uh, disperses upwards, it splashes up against the shield, and then it sort of has a rainwater effect on the ground. We just have one more trench to do. That's our other one.
So here we're just setting up uh, from the manifold. We've got these um, lead pipe entering into our dispersal zone. So if you follow these pipes along, what we're doing is just gently 45ing it so that we don't have too much friction loss from our 90 degree angles. So we're just doing 45 degrees and follow the feed lines to the manifold. So here's our manifold with the valves and these valves basically control the amount of uh, effluent traveling through our feed lines. And here's our force main coming down from the septic tank feeding our manifold. So now we're just flushing the system. So here's the new effluent filter that we installed. Let it out to a four inch uh, T right there. Connecting into the new pump chamber. Which uh, comes in through that four inch pipe leading from the septic tank. So now we just have to hook the effluent filter, which is a one horsepower. Drive it all the way up to our field area. So our field area is roughly 20 feet, a little over 20 feet higher than where the septic tank and pump chamber sit. And of course, there's friction loss added to the fittings in the pipe, which gets distributed up here. Here's our manifold. With all our valves. And those valves are gonna control each individual trench line out into this specific area here. So the, these are our distal ends of each lateral. And then our monitoring ports. So that's the end of the lateral there. So what we do is to clean this out, to jet it once in a while to clean the orifices. We we'll unscrew this cap, put a pressure washer in there, uh, a jetter, and then clean out uh, the lateral sections. So we're going to do a quick squirt test to see our height. So here we have our squirt test. And it's right at the perfect height that we want it.